But first, out of control. Michigan is the focus of national headlines as coronavirus outbreaks spread through businesses, restaurants, and churches. Michigan's COVID cases have risen for the seventh consecutive week. Many hospitals are again overwhelmed. Michigan is home to nine of the 10 metro areas with the country's highest recent case rate. Here are the numbers released this afternoon by the state. The state now reporting 6,892 new cases, 74 additional deaths, 57 of those identified in a review of records. Nationally, the United States passes 31 million 85,000 coronavirus cases with more than 561,000 deaths from the virus. These are numbers from the Johns Hopkins University database. One reason for Michigan's surge is the UK variant. According to most recent estimates, that variant is about 60% more contagious, 67% more deadly than the original form of the virus. Scientists at the University of Oxford say infected people seem to carry more of the UK variant virus and they carry it longer. Getting more people vaccinated is the primary goal in slowing the spread of the virus. Larry Spruill is live at the TCF Center tonight as Detroit ramps up the vaccine effort. Larry? Good evening, Steve. This is a very critical time for both our state and the city of Detroit. For weeks now, thousands of people have been coming here to the TCF Center to get vaccinated. And now today, city employees can bring their family members with them. The city says this is just another way for them to fight these deadly growing numbers. It's known as City Employee Family Day here at the TCF Center in downtown Detroit. That's because Saturday, any of the city of Detroit's 9,000 employees can bring their family with them to get vaccinated. Mayor Mike Duggan says it's a part of Detroit's effort to get city workers safely back to their work site. Now, the two requirements for a family member are their family member must work for the city and they must meet the age requirements of 16 and older. We had heard how important it was to employees to um, have their family members, their household members get the vaccine so that they could all uh, feel safer together. Kenyatta Smith and her family took advantage of this opportunity Saturday. They said it's important to get the vaccine so they can get back to normal. We want to get back to family time. We have a big family. We like to gather, but we don't want to um, compromise our older people in the family. So we all came to do our part. Michigan's COVID numbers continue to rise every day. Saturday, Michigan added 6,892 COVID-19 cases, making it the seventh week in a row for a rise in cases. But Smith says she's hopeful things will calm down soon. Hoping that we can get back to normal, start gathering again, kind of going out more and, you know, being more relaxed about everything. And the city will start having people go door to door, urging people to get the vaccine starting next week. Also next week, they will add eight additional COVID vaccine locations. All that information is on our website. Click on Detroit.com. We are live at the TCF Center tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4.